Hey guys, what is up? My name is Tech Justin. We are back again with another Doza Craft FTB Infinity Modded Server. And when we last left off, we kicked the shit out of the Gaia. Uh, I believe a couple times, and um, I actually took him on ooh, probably six, seven, eight, I don't know how many more times after that, um, trying to get more of the, uh, the stuff from that Dice of Fate. And, um,. A couple things that I got were pretty sweet. I'm not for sure if we seen them. If you guys seen them at all, one of them is this holy sword of Excalibur. Um, if you notice how much faster I'm running, it gives me a 30% speed buff, um, which is pretty sweet. As long as I have, as long as I'm holding it, as soon as I take it out of my hand, <clears throat> which it's good. Don't get me wrong. Um, it's better than the Terra Blade. It does it does do the mana blasts like the Terra Blade does. Um, it's stronger than the Terror Blade. It's got 10 attack damage, um, and then the 30% speed. Whereas the Terror Blade, you know, I wonder if I can enchant this thing with sharpness. I put Smite and Unbreaking. It's got plus seven, so I don't think I was able to put. Um, put the enchantment of sharpness on that. I don't know if I can on this. That would be pretty sweet if I could, with the, especially with the speed buff. But um, also, I got the Fruit of Grizaya, which um, I think we've seen this one already, but this I can I can just eat it over and over and over and over again. It does not ever go away. It's soul-bound to me, and so I just have constant food with this. It's actually pretty sweet. I've, I've used it a lot. Um, the other thing is this right here, and this is the Eye of the Flugel, which this is actually a teleporter. And so every one of these signs, um, I can set as a teleportation point. Um, Ares is to our base right here. Um, the reason why is because I am an Ares. Um, and then I also have, right here is Red Redneck's base. And then I have Twisted Light's base, which these two actually have new bases um, elsewhere. Twisted has been working on some floating islands. Um, that he's been doing, and then Redneck has a has I believe his own floating island somewhere else. Um, last I checked, he was doing like a big ass reactor, and um, I need to get uh, both of them. I need to get both of them. Uh, maybe maybe consider doing a uh, server tour um, with everybody so that you can see what uh, everybody else is doing and not just me. Um, I also have right here, which will be the spawn village here. Um, oh yeah, and then also. Here, hold on, we'll come back to that. Right here, this one will take me to Sanguis, uh, Sanguis Place. This one takes me to the um, altar to do the Gaia ritual, because uh, it was just easier for me to teleport back and forth to it. Um, but if we go back to spawn here, um, earlier, um, Espy decided to troll me, um, which I will, I will include into this. Uh, so you guys can see it. Um, he decided to troll me with a bunch of chickens. Filled my entire house with chickens. And um, so all the eggs and all the raw chicken I got, I made this little little shack right here. And it's uh, one or it's raw chicken and eggs for sale. Cost for 16 eggs is one of SB89's heads. <laughs> and then you can also do 64 chicken for five of SB's heads. Um, there was actually a lot more eggs than this, and I kept some. And I'll explain to you guys why later. Um... But for right now, I also was, if I check my baubles, I got this Ring of Thor, which I believe is kind of like having um, strength at all times. So that kind of makes it so that I hit like a truck. So I've got health. I've got like almost unlimited health. I have unlimited food. I can teleport anywhere I want. Um, I have unlimited strength. Um, unlimited armor as long as I've got mana on me. Um, I can fly. I've got two pretty epic swords. Um, the Terra Shatterer, my pickaxe, has gotten pretty OP. It'll it'll destroy um, cobblestone, nether rack, dirt, and just leave the ores behind now, <clears throat> um, which is pretty sweet. It destroys a five by five square, I believe, three or four blocks deep. So I can take a big chunk out of the big chunk out of the wall when I'm mining. Um, I've gotten pretty far. I mean, you know, we've taken on the the Gaia um, so many times now. We've gotten a lot from him. 
Um, I've got, you know, my mana farm down there, so I have unlimited amounts of mana. I've gotten to the point now that um, I think we're all done with Batania. I mean, I, I know it's sad, guys, but um, that's 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 all that it is. I don't know if there is uh, much more that we are able to do with the Batania mod. Oh, oh yeah, I got one more thing that I want to show you guys. Um, one of the things that I received, <clears throat> and it's not a working on the village. Yeah, see, he uh, Sanguist um, is like he's he likes to build. He he's a builder. He's he's more of creative builder, and um, he's working on uh, a little adventure for us. Um, for the guys on the server, so once he gets it built, um, we'll do an episode or two, maybe even three, depending on how long he has it, for us to be able to do kind of like an adventure map while we're on the server. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, take a drink here. And um, so that's one of the things that he's working on. Sweet. Um, but one of the things that I got from a drop from the Gaia or the Gaia 2, and I wasn't for sure what to do with it um, until I figured it out. <clears throat> it is called the Pinkinator. And you apply it directly to Wither. I thought it was something that when I'm Withered, I can right-click and it gets rid of my Wither. No. Actually, if you right-click on a Wither with it, you tame it. So now I have Walter the Wither. And this is my pet Wither. He has a mask on right now. Um, this is the second one that I did. The first one, he didn't have a mask or a hat, whatever you want to call it. Um, but I kind of like the hat. I think it's pretty cool. He's kind of got a real derpy, derpy looking face. But it turns him pink. Um, he's tamed, so he's always harding for me. If I was to break this, he would follow me wherever I want, wherever I went. Um, I can ride him. Um, I can't move him around or nothing, but I can sit up on his shoulders and hang out with him if I wanted to. Um, I thought that was pretty cool, so I kind of just put him in this little uh, fenced-in area, and he's now going to be my pet. Walter the Wither. I thought it was really neat. It was good. It was pretty funny. Um, so one of the things that uh, I wanted to show you guys is I did start getting a lot s situated for the next mod that we are going to be doing. We can put that away. Um, we'll recharge you. Can I get it from here? Yeah. Uh, we'll recharge that back up real quick. I'm, I, we're not going to need it, but... Um, it was low, so we might as well grab it while we're here. Um, but one of the things that uh, I was got into was setting up for the next mod. Um, we can close this down. I hate to close the door on the Batania mod, but like I said, I'm pretty sure we touched almost every base of that already. So I'm ready to move on, and what I'm ready to move on to is this right here. This is our area for the Witchery mod. And I know that this is actually seems like a whole lot, um, has already been situated, but this isn't. I haven't done much with the mod itself other than set things up for us to be able to um, use. Where do... There we go. Here's some shears. Um, and uh, so what I did was mainly... Um, I did a lot of farming... Uh, hours actually of just um, farming to make sure that we had enough materials. Um, made some mutandus in order to get some of this stuff, the glint weed, and then the ember moss, and then this is Spanish moss right here. Which we have a lot of the Spanish moss. I'm almost tempted to take it down for a little while because of how much it grows. But uh, right here is the reason I kept a lot of the eggs. Um, but what I did was I crafted all of the books that have to do with the witchery mods so that we had some reference to go by. And in order to craft these books, I had to make a few things. Um, before time in order to get these books so that we knew what to do. Um, I made some of the bookshelves and then I got some potion shelves here. And this right here um, is a potion shelf of... These are called fumes. And um, you get these fumes by cooking certain things in a witch's oven. I had to make these clay jars and you cook um, some saplings in here and then as the saplings cook it turns into wood ash and you have a chance of collecting a fume from it. 
Um, and in order to get some more of the stuff that I needed as far as like uh, these rowan saplings, um, alder saplings, or the hawthorn saplings, even the ember moss and the glintweed, the Spanish moss, um, I crafted uh, what was called a mutandus. And you can just set down like an oak sapling on some dirt and then you put this mutandus on it and it turns it into a different plant. And then you're able to either harvest that plant or you can change it into another one. So I turned it into, I kept going until I got glintweed, then I kept that. Ember moss and then I kept that. And then if I found that if you just set these down on some dirt, this will actually spread and then you can collect more of it. Um, same thing with moss grows like vines, so I just threw some on the wall here. Um, and then uh, one of the other th or the other things I got were the saplings here, and this stuff over here is mandrake. I had to like harvest grass to get some mandrake seeds. Um, actually, I got all of these seeds by just harvesting grass. So I've got mandrake, I've got water artichokes, I've got wolfsbane, snowbell, um, some more water artichokes, and then belladonna. And I needed all of these in order to craft some of the other stuff here in order to get the fumes that I needed in order to make more books. <laughs> and so that's kind of where I've gotten so far. It's a, just a lot of uh, really farming. I haven't done anything with the distillery yet. I wanted to wait for you guys on that one. Um, but what I really want to get into doing is doing some like uh, some of the poppets, the vampiric poppet. I think we might be able to troll some people with, or even doing um, some of the protection poppets, um, and seeing if we if we make enough of them. I mean, that's just going to add to it. Oh yeah, and then the lifes. I I managed to uh, finish filling up my yellow heart canisters, and because of the ring of Odin that we've got. Now we have, uh, if you look down there at the health bar, we now are full of green hearts. So now we have um, 30 hearts. We've got green, yellow, and then red. Um, oh no, green, yellow, orange, and then red. So that's 40 hearts. 40 hearts, which is 80 hit points we have now. That's pretty sweet. And then if we actually make some protection poppets, um, we're going to have even more lives... I've got the the little uh what is it the golden laurel crown which will that's that's one extra life and then um the vampiric poppets if I die it'll kill the poppet instead of me which um will be an additional life so if we make some more of them that's kind of what I want to get into here um we can also do some circle magic maybe here in the near future we might break off you know more this direction and I might do another altar um, over here to be able to perform some circle magic. I'm not f fully for sure what we can do with all of that circle magic, but some of the stuff that I've seen in the past, it seems pretty OP. So uh, I'm thinking that um, <clears throat> the witchery mod is definitely the next one that um, I wanted to get into. I hope uh, you guys are cool with that. Um, and then we can try and see how much of this we can get done and then move on to a new mod. Um, but what we're going to be getting into uh right now is I want to I want to make some poppets. And um real quick what I did was I took those saplings, the alder the oh, here let's go to sleep real quick. I took some of those saplings, the alder sapling, the rowan sapling, and then the hawthorn sapling and I made a little tree farm over here. I cleaned this area out and turned it into some flat land and um made it into a little tree farm. So I've got rowans, hawthorns, and then alders right here so that we're able to get um, some more saplings or more wood as needed for the mod. Um, like I said, just trying to take a, trying to get a couple steps ahead so that um, you guys can see more of what we're doing. Having the stupid Enderman, having um, more materials at our disposal at the very beginning I think is going to be very helpful so um, what we're going to do is let's go to the crafting table and let's see what it's going to take to make a poppet so let's go poppet and we need a base poppet which is a not bound a, a not bound poppet so that's where we're going to start um, and we need a bone needle and some string 
So I don't know if I have bone needles yet. No, see, I've got an icy needle. I did make a bone needles to do a tag lock kit, um, which I took blood from myself. You need a tag lock kit in order to bind to, to bind the poppet um, to somebody, so I can bind the protection ones to myself, and then I can also uh, bind like the vampiric poppet to uh, somebody else, like let's say uh, SB. Um, is one of the things I might do. Uh, especially because he loves to troll me. <laughs> so, um, I think it would be pretty sweet. And the way that works is that if I, um, we'll take, we'll take these back. If I get hurt, instead of me getting hurt, Espy will get hurt. That's only when he's on the server. Um, Espy's got a lot going on. He's been pretty busy here lately. Um, same as the other guys. I mean, you know, we've all got a life outside of our Minecraft, which I know it's sad, but we do. Um, but... So what we're going to do is maybe I might try and get everybody who's on the server at least get their tag lock. And uh, what you do is you either tag lock them themselves or you tag lock their bed. Like if they slept in a bed, um, I can actually go to the bed and just right click it. Uh, with the tag lock kit and I can take some of their DNA from that and so I was thinking that might be pretty cool um, if we can if we can get to it I mean um, redneck and twisted <coughs> excuse me redneck and twisted have their their new base so it's gonna be hard for me to be able to um, get to it unless they can invite me there twisted twisted usually lets me come here all the time He'll t he teleports me to it um, but I'd have to see about getting, or about Red getting me there, and then maybe I can't just, uh, tag lock their beds without them looking, and then I can have their DNA, and then we could really have some fun with them. Um, but we'll see how that goes. Maybe it'll happen here in the future. So now we've got our bone needles. Um, we're going to need some Spanish moss, and it was string, right? I'm going to have to go grab some string. Uh, da 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 String. Oh yeah, we got tons of string. This is gonna be awesome. Wool. I'll need wool. Sure. That'll be good for now. If we need to, I can make more out of the string. I think that's how I got this wool in the first place. Was just by uh, using string because I get... I can set the... Uh, mob drops from that spawner to collect more string again. Um, but I believe it is like this. And then string. Actually, let's make a couple of these. See how many I can get out of this. Because we're going to need quite a bit of them. Oh. Okay, so I can make seven for right now. Which, that's not bad. That's quite a lot of poppets to start off with. <clears throat> and then uh, the Spanish moss. I'm pretty sure that's what the uh, recipe called for. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we'll just set one down. There we go. Yeah. So, bam. Look at that. Seven poppets. So, um, that's pretty sweet. We've got a lot of poppets to be able to work with. Now we just have to figure out um, how we're going to turn them into the other poppets. So um, let's open this up and let's do poppet. And let's see, death protection poppet, a poppet protection poppet, a vampiric poppet, an armor protection poppet. That will protect my armor, so if my armor breaks, instead of my armor breaking, it'll get rid of the poppet. But I mean, we've got mana armor, so as long as I have mana on me, my armor's not going to break. The Voodoo Protection Poppet, um, which I believe the Voodoo Protection Poppet protects you from a Voodoo Poppet. If I tag lock somebody with the Voodoo Poppet and they make a Voodoo Protection Poppet, that will actually protect them from it. Fire Protection, Hunger Protection, which we don't really need to worry about that because we've got the the Grisaya. The Tool Protection. So these will actually, the, that'll save my tools if my tools break. I'm not worried about that. I'm not worried about hunger. 
Um, I'm not too worried about fire protection because, I mean, I've got a lot of health and, you know, my armor is pretty safe. Um, earth protection poppet. I'm going to have to look in to see what that does. The water protection poppet makes it so that we, if we die um, from drowning, it'll get rid of the poppet. So I think right now what we just need is death protection because, to me, every one of these... Every one of the poppets usually consists of a fatality, so it'll only help if I die by fire or if I die by hunger. Well, if I just make a death protection, then it's going to kind of just take care of all of them. So th this is what I want to make. So let's see what um, what we got here. Can I get right to it? Let's go. <clears throat> so we need diamond vapor and a drop of luck some gold nuggets. So I'm thinking what we're going to do um, because in order to get a lot of that stuff we're gonna have to start um, doing some distilling and uh, collecting more fumes maybe. Um, so what we're going to do is actually uh, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna end the episode right here and the start of next episode, we're going to start trying to make these uh, protection poppets and eventually maybe look into making a poppet table. And I'll show you what that does in the next episode if we make one or not. But until then, I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace. What we do is do the side towers. You see how it's kind of got that, that like reddish glow coming off of that? That's because it soaked up that coal that it dropped. See, here's another coal. We'll see it. We'll see it. See now that coal disappeared. It kind of soaked it up. This one over here isn't getting it, but eventually it does. I 